pioneer of clean energy, Denmark is now racing to produce new, more climate-friendly fuels that could power ships, aircraft and industry. This brand new plant in the south of the country is now making green methanol, also known as e-methanol. It's a fuel with a low net carbon footprint and an ingredient for plastics, paint and glue. This is the world's first commercial large-scale green methanol or e-methanol facility. Owned by European Energy and Japan's Mitsui, it'll produce around 42,000 metric tons of it each year. We have just started production, so we are quite excited. We have a number of customers within the chemical industry uh, and also within the transport. That includes shipping giant Maersk, which will power big cargo ships with it. While Lego will put it into plastic toy bricks, and drug maker Northern Nordisk will use it in injection pens. Methanol is a widely used chemical, but the trouble is, until now, it's been made with fossil fuels like natural gas and coal. Chemically, there are no difference. So we replace a fossil CO2 footprint with a CO2 neutral product. So a number of products in our daily lives can now be green instead of relying on fossil products. Surrounding this plant is Northern Europe's biggest solar farm, spanning 300 hectares. This is where the power comes in from our solar facility. We have the first building here, let's uh, take a look. That renewable electricity powers a process making hydrogen. We take water, normal water, plain water, and we split the water into hydrogen and oxygen. The first big step of that process is taking place right here behind me in this enormous piece of kit called an electrolyzer. Under high pressure and heat, that hydrogen meets with CO2 inside this tall reactor tower. This is where we take hydrogen and biogenic CO2, combine those two in a synthesis where we make the methanol. Meanwhile, excess heat generated by the plant will also warm thousands of local homes. Denmark is a country with more pigs than people. And that means, well, lots of manure. From that, biogas is made, and it's the source of CO2 for making this green methanol. What you can see here, it's a purification or liquefaction plant uh, for uh, CO2. The CO2, it comes from an organic source. Basically, that's the key differentiator from fossil fuel. In this case, it comes from biogas, and that comes from uh, animal waste. Building this green methanol plant is a major milestone, but it's still fairly small in scale. This is the first produced pure methanol. We are going to do 42,000 ton, so this is a small drop. But the first drop is a very important drop. The first container ship is already sailing on green methanol, but there are tens of thousands of cargo ships plying our oceans. And as this gas guzzling industry comes under pressure to eliminate its carbon emissions, cleaner fuels are in high demand. And right now, there's not a lot of it. It's green, but it's also very capital and resource intensive. It's around four or five times more expensive than the fossil fuel equivalent today. You would need new build ships to replace the old ones when you go to the e-methanol route. So it will take uh, decades to uh, decrease emissions. One of the challenges, particularly facing the transport sector, shipping industry, has been getting hold of enough of this green alternative. Can this be scaled up to, to supply all these ships and, and make a real impact? We are still in early days, we are still in the beginning. Uh, the fossil industry has been around for more than 100 years, so we need a little bit of time to catch up. And we have already planned the next facilities where we will do significantly more volume than we have here. We will also actually produce at a significantly lower prices. Plants making greener fuels like this are coming up in Europe, the US and elsewhere. Combined, that could be a big step forward for reducing the impact of heavy transport. Yeah.